<clears throat> so this video is going to be about how to create some graphics to the screen using Python and not going too crazy with downloading APIs like OpenGL and um, Pygame, which is the main like game or graphics API for Python. So all I've done is open Python in my shell. I'm using 3.4 for this one. Um, I think this will, is still relevant in earlier versions. 2.7 might be a bit of a change, but as long as you're using Python 3, I think we will be all right. So what I've done is I've gone file, new file, and this is open. So what we're going to do is first of all start by um, importing what we need to make this work. So from, so we are going to borrow from TK Inter, which is the actual graphics program for Python. We are going to import everything from it. That's what that means. Now I'm going to start here from line by line. If you've never done any program before, this is this is going to be really difficult. So I'd suggest you just, you know, go and search some other tutorials if you want to um, understand what's coming out here. But other than that, just follow it line by line, and you might actually learn something. So we're going to import as well random because in a minute I might want to import some random numbers. I mean, I always import random whether I'm going to use it or not because most of the time I'm, I actually use it. And I'm going to also import time because, like I said, sometimes I use that or in most of the programs I ever write, I am always using those two imports. So I just always add them now out of like, force of habit. Right, so let's get down to making these graphics. So we're using TK Inter. It's Python's inbuilt graphics or GUI graphics graphical user interface. We're not going to use make any buttons today. We're just going to do some simple animation, drawing things to the screen because you know that's fun in it. So first of all, we've got a set of variable for our TK into module. So I'm just going to call it TK. I'm going to TK equals, and I think in 3.4 it's capital T, small k, and then your function brackets say you're actually importing like a functional, but that's the actual module. Right. So now that we've got TK imported, I am going to set um, some global variables. Like, see, I know this is coming, you see. And this is the same for nearly all graphical APIs. You need to set the height. Now, this is referring to the screen. So height is 500. Um, and I'm going to set the width to 500 as well. So if I want to make a screen, it's going to be 500, 500. And what I use is a tab here and tab all my um, equals out so that it's all in a nice line. If you're really, really, really good, you'll add some comments saying um, assign the module to a variable, to a var, and set global vars. If you're being really good, you'll do that. Right, so what do we do? Right, well, to put graphics on anything, if you think about an artist, what does an artist need to actually draw on? Well, if you're all just shouting at the screen, I bet you're not. But they all need a canvas. Right, so I'm going to make a canvas variable equals, and there's an actual um, method within, um, or a function within TK Inter, capital C, canvas. And then if you open a bracket, what it needs is it needs to take your um, your assignments or what you've assigned TK to. So TK, and then I'm going to set the width to equal the width we put over here. And height is equal to height. So just to make these a little bit different, I'm just going to put capital letters on these. Yeah. So what's going to do... Oh, sorry, width equals width and height equals height. So that's going to set now the canvas to to follow the teak into module, which opens up this and um, set the width and the height. Simple as that. Um, if you want to be really smart, you can go tk dot. Uh, I think it's title, um, and I'm just going to put graphics in here. And that will put the window, can you see if it's called Untitled? Well, it will call it Graphics for us. And then when we've done that, we have to just show it to the screen. And to show it to the screen, you type your variable, because Canvas, we're using this now, Canvas.pack. And it's like, yeah, pack everything up and send it out. And hopefully, if we press F5, OK, let's say this is TK 
like scratch just to just say it was something different. There we go, that's what we get. So we get graphics from the title and a 500 by 500 screen ready to go. That's our screen. And we know everything's working because the shell's opened up and there's no problems here. So shut that down and then let's get started with actually doing something to it. You can do loads of things in um, TK Inter. You can draw stuff, of course. So let's just draw something to the screen. So I'm going to go um, something like canvas dot right so to, we're drawing to the canvas so after canvas we're going to create and let's create an oval because we'll do some animation we'll have a ball bent around the screen i guess so create oval and what oval takes is some parameters now if you had a really decent editor um like pycharm something when you open the brackets here it should tell you what it needs now what it needs is an x uh, and y beginning coordinate like a top left coordinate so we're going to draw this ball to the top left hand corner of the screen so we have to go not not top left up here in Python is not not and then it wants the bottom right coordinate of the rectangle it will be displayed in because if you think about uh, graphics in computing you have to draw a rectangle first and then it draws the circle within the rectangle I'm sure you've all noticed this before if you drag like a circle from the internet as an image it, it's a square image it never gives you just a circle it, it, it's a square but the circles inside the square if you get me so um, the bottom right we're just going to go 50 pixels uh, across so on the X and 50 pixels down so you'll you know it's like this it starts here so not not start here we're going to go 50 on the X 50 on the Y and that's what it's going to draw yeah and so that we can see it we're going to fill it and I think you can type in regular colors just like that so I'm going to fill it red simple as that so I think I think that will um, draw something to the board so what we've got to do with TK into is when you've drawn something to the board we have to update that the screen so we go TK dot update and that's a function of uh, TK into and we are going to then I think that'll do it, you know. Let's try. And there you go. Circles drawn into the top right hand corner. Um, so just to see how it kind of works, if we change this to 100, 100, that circle should be bigger. And if I put this to... Um, yeah, there you go. And if I want to move it to the centre of the screen, well, if we go out at about... I don't know, if the, the ball's going to be 100 pixels big, then we'll go... 300, 300, and then this one's going to be 400, 400, and it'll be somewhere towards the edge of the screen because the screen's 500, 500, yeah? So, that'll do for that. Let's get that back to the normal coordinates because it's easy to manage. So, we've got this. Right, so what I want to do today is animate it because people like, you know, video games and animations and things like that so what I'm going to do is I am going to set my um, canvas to be a variable within itself so I'm going to call it a ball ball equals all of that okay now then to animate we have to keep looping round because I don't know if you know in computer graphics nothing actually moves we just change the X position of something so in in reality yeah it's moving but we're not we're just going to redraw it one step ahead it doesn't move if you like we just redraw it so what we have to do is we have to create a while loop while true put your call on put this tk up there inside this while loop now so every time this thing runs it's going to run a code then update the screen run a code then update the screen and if you see what i mean like if my case is here and i say move along by one well this is bigger than one, one pixel that is. So update, 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 and my cursor will just go all the way along the screen until it gets to the end of the screen. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's start by setting our speed. So we're going to go at speed equals, I uh, will put it up one for now. So we've just defined a variable as x speed, right? The speed along the x axis. So what we need to do before we can move our ball is we need to, um, 
tell it to move. So on the canvas, make sure you don't typo, dot move, it's um, another attribute uh, for the canvas. We are going to move a ball, yeah, uh, along with, on its X and its Y, and its X at the minute we're going to be X speed, and its Y right now we'll keep at zero, okay? So in fact, no, to make this a bit better, we'll go Y speed equals zero. And then we can put Y speed straight in here. Um, if you want to tell me why you think I put these, it might make these variables here rather than putting one and zero in there. You can tell me why you think I'm doing that. That's a higher level question for you. Right, so <clears throat> when we've said move the ball along the X speed, let's see what happens if we run that. Right, it moves so fast you didn't even see it. So let's slow it down. Let's, after the update, let's do time. See, I told you you'd be using time. Um, time dot, is it sleep? Yeah, I just want to wait for a second. Is it, I think it's sleep. I don't use sleep that much. I normally use this for like um, frames per second, but I think time's not point one. Let's try that. Ah, there you go. So that's too slow. So you can see it's moving one pixel at a time, but it's actually waiting hundredth of a second before it moves so let's um, let's up the speed to five say f5 and there you go it'll move a bit faster a little bit jerky in movement this time but this will do we can just see it moving all right <clears throat> so canvas dot move we're going to move the ball along the x speed which is five y speed stays zero if i change that to five what do you think could happen Give me two seconds one well, yeah, it's going to go in a diagonal, isn't it? Because if not, not here, and it's going down by 5, well, that's 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, we keep adding 5. Let's see if it does that. There you go, it goes diagonal. So, let's get that back to 0. What I want to do, though, is make it bounce off the edge of the screen. Now, the only way I know of doing that is you have to track the ball's actual current position. And we do that by... Um, I'll make a variable called position. Uh, no, let's call it pause because it's quicker to type. And then I'll go equals canvas, right, dot this thing, chords. I think it's chords. I don't know if it's a double sleep or something. I've not done this for a while. And then I'm going to put ball in here. So we're going to pause. is going to be the canvas chords of whatever ball is. My ball is set here. So whatever the chords are, a ball right now at this moment in time, that's what we're going to check. So if those chords oh yeah sorry chords what chords does is it gives you the left hand side of the um, of the image it gives you the right hand side of the oh, I'll put it in a um, a list which is what it does it gives you the left it gives you the top I think it goes next then it gives you right and it gives you your bottom so oh, so as a list this is value 0 this is value 1 2 3 so if, and then pause um, three, uh, 2, because we're going to check for the right end of the screen. If pause 2 is greater than or equal to, um, how long was the width of the screen? Uh, width. If it's e greater or equal to width, which is 500, you were just going to come back. So at x speed. Make sure you get the um, variables is equal to minus x speed because it's just going to come back isn't it so hopefully what we've got here is that ball is going to move all the way along it's going to keep checking for x plus 2 that's the um, 0 1 2 if that equals 500 if the position of this ball equals 500 you're just going to negate your speed which will actually bring it back let's see if that works Oh god, I should have moved it faster. Now we have to sit and wait. Ah, thank god it worked. So there we're going to um, bounce all the way back. But watch what happens when we get to the other end. God, I wish I'd made it faster now. Why is it not coming back? Well, you haven't told it to come back. So this is going to be your task, I guess. Um, could you um, make the ball bounce forever. Oops. 
that's what you've got to do, that's task one. And you put that code here. Next task, if you think you've done that, make the ball bounce on the X and the Y. So both ways, so you can go up, you can down, and then finally, make ball bounce around screen. So let me your three, um, let me your three tasks for this. So hopefully that's just giving you a little bit of Python and how to create dead quick graphics, and then from there we can do quite a few things with this program. So thanks for watching.